Welcome to a new Tour Confidential. I'm Jeff Ritter here in our lower Manhattan studio. Joining us today on the phone, it's Alan Shipnook from California. And joining me live in studio, it's Golf.com's Alan Bastable. Uh, guys, golf suffered a tremendous loss on Sunday night. Uh, we're all saddened and shocked to learn of the news of the passing of Arnold Palmer at the age of 87. Uh, Shipnook, we'll start with you on the phone. Uh, your reaction to the news that uh, the legend and icon, Arnold Palmer, uh, passed away last night? It's just hard to believe he's, he's not still here with us. I mean, Arnie has, has been uh, such a part of the game in so many ways for so long. Uh, there's almost no part of the industry he hasn't touched. Uh, your experience as a golfer is shaped in every way, whether you're playing one of his golf courses or you're drinking his beverage. We're going for a par five and two from 260 yards over water into the wind. You know, there's it's all about Arnie in some way or or another. And um, you know, it's like losing it's like losing your favorite grandfather. You know, he's, he's got a lot of great memories, but you're still and you knew it was coming the way his health was deteriorating. But it, it's it's still a shock and and uh, the outpouring. Uh, you know, not just from the, from the golf world, but whether it's President Obama or it's other sports figures or just other leading Americans. I mean, it tells you how many people Arnie touched and, and how much he meant um, to, to golf, to sports, and, and, and just to this country. So uh, it, it's a tough one. I think we're all struggling a little bit. Yeah, the, the legacy and the legend goes far beyond golf. I mean, the tributes, of course, pouring in from Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus, but also Barack Obama last night. I mean, it's clear. Arl Palmer's imprint, his legacy, uh, it'll be felt around the world. Yeah, I mean, we've, we have been preparing for this moment for, for, for months. We, we know he's, he had not been well, but uh, yeah, it still, it still gets you. So it's a punch to the gut. And, um, you, know, we, we, you know, I look back, we're talking about his legacy, and, and one, of the, one of the moments that really s sticks with me is an interview I saw a couple of years ago with, with Jack, Lee Trevino, uh, Gary Player, and, and Arnold, all sitting around table together. Um, and they asked a pretty simple question, you know, which of this group, which of you loves golf the most? And uh, they all kind of looked at one another, and there wasn't much doubt. They all kind of said Arnold at the same time. Um, you know, he grew up at Latrobe Country Club, you know, working the land there, played golf every day. Um, continued to do that, obviously, through his youth and uh, all the way through his life into his 80s. I mean, he was playing golf every day up until, you know, a few months ago. He didn't get out there and play a couple holes a day. Uh, he just loved the game. Jack would rather be out chasing marlin on his boat. Gary would be on a plane, flying all over the globe, promoting various pursuits. Arnie would rather be on the tee box with some friends, playing for a few bucks, and then you know in the grill room after the round, uh, you know sipping a sipping a cocktail. Uh, that was Arnie. He yeah. loved golf. That was that was his essence. That was his soul, and I think that's that's what I'll remember him for. Yeah, I was always I'll always be struck by the way he just connected with people. I was lucky enough to meet him twice, and I could probably tell you the entire conversation we had both times. It's just one of those career moments that just stays with you forever. Uh, even in the old footage, how just magnetic he was on television, and even throughout his career and, and late into his life, the way he could just disarm people and just make them feel so good about themselves. And uh, there just aren't many people, many celebrities or sports figures that can do that, that just have that way of just connecting. Uh, Shipnook, when, when you think of Arnie, where, where do you go first in terms of defining his legacy? Just the, the incredible old photos and vide, videos of the young, the young Arnold Palmer, just so charismatic, so macho. I mean, no wonder America fell in love with him. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure every woman had a crush with him and, and every man just wanted to be him. And, you know, it was, it was Arnie's great fortune to come along at, at the advent of, of the color TV era, but I, I think he's probably sold millions of, of TV sets himself. I mean, who wanted to watch Arnold Palmer in black and white? Uh, I, I never get tired of looking at those old photos or, or videos. I'm, I'm not sure any pro athlete has ever looked better in competition than Palmer did. And, you know, you couple that with, with his, his, his unique style of play, you know, I think you know whether it's Ben Hogan or it's Jack Nicklaus. You know, it was it was a certain conservative way to play the game uh, in those days, and obviously Arnold was, was cut from a totally different cloth. So he, he was a thrill to watch, and he was of a certain time and a place. But I, I think it's also a very universal appeal. 
Yeah, this is a legacy that will, uh, that will live forever. Uh, it's a very difficult week for us at golf.com. We're all saddened by this news, but we appreciate you watching and uh, we will see you next week on Tour Confidential.